So here's some of the practical points. Well, how to actually turn down the volume, okay? Uh, the first thing I, I can think of is that you actually need to beware of your feelings, correct? You cannot manage anything if you're not aware of them, right? You can't. Now, some of us, it doesn't matter male or female, sometimes because of our background, sometimes because of trauma, or the way we were brought up, or just because of how our society is like, we, are, we don't start off maybe like very in tune with our feelings. That's true. Sometimes I, I met people like that. I, I wasn't always like that either, right? I, I'm, I have to learn how to be a bit more in tune with my feelings too, right? But we need to be a bit more aware of our feelings, right? Uh, I, I sort of gave you a, in your handouts, you actually see a, uh, is something called a feeling wheel. I find it that's pretty helpful. Sometimes it's give to some client, uh, just to help them to explore what are some of the feelings, right? Uh, so we'll talk more about that later. But just being more aware of your feelings can be helpful. Uh, if there's anybody in this house here right now, you would say, yeah, I'm not very good at identifying my feelings. I, I don't feel, right? Uh, first of all, it's not true. Everybody feels. We just get good at not paying attention to them. That's all. Most, some people are like that. We just get good at not paying attention to them. And for some of the people that I work with, a lot of the times because they need to do that to survive growing up. Let's imagine the home you grew up with is pretty abusive. Let's say, for example, I mean, there's many different scenarios. Uh, you learn not to feel too. If I grew up in an abusive home, I learned not to feel. Now, I didn't grow up in an abusive home, but I did grow up in a very Asian kind of culture. In my culture, men are taught not to cry. I told my class this, right? Uh, so I grew up, we have actually an idiom. I, I'm sure every culture has their own like, a, like an idiom. In my culture, we have a saying. It sounds really cool, right, for guys growing up. A real man would rather bleed than cry. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, right, growing up with, right? And, and but don't get me wrong, I, I get sad. Growing up as a, as a kid, teenager. But I learned when I get sad, if I need to cry, I go to the bathroom and cry. I don't dare to let my dad see it. Because if I let him see it, he's gonna stroke me some more, right? That's what I grew up with. Now today, being a bit more mature, with a little bit more wisdom, I would rather cry than bleed. I don't like bleeding too much, right? That's why I do karate sparring, we don't have full contact, I don't bleed too much. I'm good with that. But depending on how we grew up, right? Man, woman, doesn't matter. Sometimes our past experience influences us, the way we process feelings. Some of us just get good at not paying attention to it. But I guarantee you, everybody that I worked with in my counseling office, eventually I can help them to process what's happening to them. Right? So everybody has it. But we need to be aware.